Hey everybody, it's me, Sean, and welcome to a new Let's Play series, Production Line. Production Line is not a new game for my channel. As a matter of fact, Production Line is the first new game that came out that I got a big boost to my channel from. It is the original booster game, I guess you would call it. I don't know. But back in January, I featured this game when it was brand new. And it, uh, back then I had like 150 subscribers or something like that. And uh, this was uh, the most popular game I'd ever run at the time. I remember it had uh, like way more views than any other uh, games that I was running on my channel. And uh, it was just, it was so huge for my channel. Uh, so I ran it for a while back then. It was like at Alpha 1.09 when I finished up running it. Now it's all the way up to Alpha 130. It's crazy how far along this game has come. Uh, but I think for those of you who watched the original series, you'll be surprised at how much hasn't changed. Now, I haven't really gotten too deep into this. I will say, since I'm trying to play it on the hardest difficulty, uh, I've, I've had a few fumbles trying to get it started, to be honest. Um, but I'll walk you through those as we get started. So, I'm going to pretend that we're starting a brand new game. And this is how I started up here. We're on the tight budget, which is the smallest, well, the weirdest factory, with basically no starting money. And uh, so we start this one out, and if we look at the factory here, you can see we've got a lot of potential room, but we've got this long, weird, kind of ugly factory to work in. We got, um, uh, yeah, not a lot of different bays to work from, and we only have a million dollars, so we're really limited in money. Now, we do have some potential loans. Hmm, they were not quite as big in the game that I was playing, so I didn't quite get to borrow that much money, but we'll see that here in a minute. So there are some loans to take. I don't know how you could do this without taking loans. I actually, this is my fourth time starting this first episode, as a matter of fact. I actually did an entire first episode, and then I went bankrupt in the second episode. Um, but I think I've gotten it down, how to get this start. So some stuff has changed. It used to be that this game was way too easy, and you had to work really hard to go broke. Now, not quite as easy, especially when you start on the, the highest difficulty level. So we're going to start with this basic setup. And um, what I did before this episode was I went through and I researched all of the specializations. Accessories, body, chassis, engine, and paint specialization. And if you watched the previous series, you'll remember that those opened up the, 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 the specialized production areas which will allow us to get our cars through a lot faster uh, so we will look at that here when I go and load up uh, the previous game so uh, we got this start game right there we're gonna load that up I'm gonna pause it real quick as you can see we have got a bunch of little areas set up here if we look at our research we've got accessory body specialization and within body specialization I actually had to unlock body frame specialization because that one still took 22 minutes to get done, whereas all the rest of these take about four to six minutes or less. Uh, we've got chassis. Uh, anyways, we've got all the different specialization spots, or at least the, the main versions of the specialization spots opened up. Didn't cost us too much to get that research done. We've still got half a million dollars left, um, but we did take out... So you can see the loans here are uh, less than they were available before but we do have another loan available now which is kind of nice in case we have to fall back on it I don't think we're gonna have to uh, so we're about 1.3 million dollars in debt I would say so we've got a considerable debt we need to worry about but I think we're gonna be able to pull through it I definitely want to do some expanding on some of these um, some of these uh, specialization spots because some of them take a lot longer than others so like I, th I think I did set up two chassis special or two axle specializations because they take six minutes and then we got a couple that are two minutes and four minutes so uh, you can see here body frame still takes 20 minutes and I obviously we don't have time for that so I did I had to break that one down into its smaller components and of course each of those are like two minutes and four minutes and so forth uh, fit doors is one that I'm gonna want to duplicate when uh, when I feel like we have a bit of a, a financial stability here. But I'm going to hold off until we get to, I don't even know where that is. Anyways, it's, oh yeah, that's right. It's it's all the way up here. So there's fit doors. I left room to put another one of those in there. Of course, the uh, drying bays are one of the slowest ones. Those will be one of the first ones we want to duplicate. So I left plenty of room to duplicate those drying bays out. These guys are all pretty quick. 
Uh, fit wheel assembly I want to duplicate, so I left that spot here for that. And, uh, oh shit, I forgot to connect up fit steering assembly, so they are not going to be able to get through that um, the way that it's set up. So I need to knock out some of these, and I was going to have the other fit steering assembly right there. So I'm glad I noticed that. Not that it really would have made too much of a difference, but I did have to did lose some money there, unfortunately. But we still have four, a little over $400,000. We should be able to get a car out. We do have a lot of expenses involved in bringing all this stuff in. And one thing I did to save us some money is I sold off all of our research. So we've got all the basic research done for our protection production facility, but I sold them off to save money on doing more research because we need to start turning a profit first. Uh, I also researched power plants because those save us a lot of money. Um, if we look at our expenses, power production is zero, but you can see that in the first 24 hours, it was $31,000. So it cost us a little over $1,000 an hour, and that was without running the factory. Um, so now that we're actually running the factory, it's going to be costing us a lot more. So let's um, let's uh, see if we can actually start getting some of these vehicles through here. Just these things move so slow, but it should speed up as uh, like there's a a bit of a slowdown as we get our first stuff through. Oh, well, let's try to follow this first car as it moves down the line. We'll keep an eye on our cash here. We're at four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Watch the, here's the hood being put on. Next up, we got the trunk. Get that installed. After that, bumpers. Get those bumpers put on. I think there's front bumper and rear bumper, so there's gonna be a little bit of a slowdown here as, uh, as it uh, brings in the new resources needed for that. Uh, it just takes its own sweet time on that, doesn't it? Get those bumpers on there. Throw that trim on, that was fast. Arches. Arches are going to be a little slow, and I believe that is also a two-step process, so we're going to have a, a bit of a delay. But next up is the vent, if I remember correctly. Yep, and that one will be fast. And you can definitely do research that will speed up. There's the one that speeds up how the lines come in, and then there's also one that will speed up how it actually orders things, and that'll... That'll make it go a little faster as well. Uh, here, putting the doors on, I think this is going to be a multi-step process. Yep, so we need to order like front doors and back doors or something silly like that. Uh, windows, maybe. I'm not really sure what the slowdown is with the doors. Um, I guess, oh, excuse me. Mm, got some almonds stuck in my throat. Um, <coughs> sure enough, they were the windows. And what's the next step? Wing mirrors, okay. So this fit doors thing is another one that we can break down into uh, smaller components. Let's see if I can get that almond out of my throat. There you go, that's much better. I was doing my uh, Bill Clinton impersonation there, by the way. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Um, painting, painting is fast, drying is slow. We're really gonna have a slow down here. When we get to this drying thing, which is why the first investment we will make will be in increasing our drying capacity because uh, we should see some cars. Maybe the uh, slowness of those components showing up. Yeah, none of the cars backed up there. So it really must be the slowness of the components showing up that's really, um, really slowing us down here, which is a, quite a surprise, to be honest. I did not expect that to be the bottleneck. Um, so I'm going to be curious to see how that goes as we continue moving on. You would think that we would kind of balance out on the supplies a little bit. Maybe I'll want to research that as one of our first research projects. Uh, I was thinking that, that um, researching stuff like robots and whatnot would be the uh, smart thing to go with, but now I'm not so sure. Get that exhaust put on there come down here and uh, wheel assemblies are going to be a good thing to throw in there. Now this is going to be time consuming also because it's going to require multiple components and uh, I think it takes, uh, what is it, uh, wheels, brakes, and tires? Something along those lines. 
Or does it still put the nope? It puts the tires on after the brakes. Good. So that's something that he he did uh, he did fix up. And uh, you can watch the little graphics change for each one of them. Although it didn't really change when they put the tires on there, but uh, you know, uh, it's not perfect. Um, get that steering assembly in there. That's oh another multi-stage process. Two stages in that one. Pretty easy. Get those busted out. Any moment now. There we go. Fit lights, single, single stage process for the lights, single stage process for the horn, and it uh, should be a single stage process for the seats until we get some uh, upgraded features in there, of course, that will add to the process. Um, windscreen should be quick. Does it have rear and front windscreens? No, nope. looks like just the one. Dashboard, very fast. Electronics, do we even have any electronics? I don't even know what it was putting in there. It does there's no no stuff in there. Now I do have this set. I want to actually increase this. Let's see if we can get a 40% markup on these cars since we've got enough cash in reserve to where we don't really have to worry about um, making money immediately. See what kind of markup we can deal with. Okay, now let's see. Where are we backing up? Of course we're backing up at the doors here. So since we do have some money we've got money coming in and we've got some money in the bank and we've got the potential for another loan still I'm gonna go ahead and throw an extra fit doors thing in here It'd be nice to break that down into its sub components but we can't quite do that yet so I'm gonna throw that right there very good we're gonna connect that up with a conveyor like this to there and then we'll connect you over to here to get out of there. So that will speed up that process considerably. Now the fact that we got the resource conveyors coming a very, very long way to get here is is really not good for our process. But um, this is basically gonna double our, uh, double our uh, uh, speed of getting these cars through. And um, hopefully that will lead to a bottleneck at the painting area as we have to start waiting for paint. Um, I think we've got enough cash as well that I can reinstate research, which is not really that expensive. It's gonna be about $1,500 an hour for research. So we'll go down here. Now, one thing that they changed is you can only build your research, marketing, and some other facilities. Oh shit, that really burned through my cash fast. Uh, within this area, I might have to take that loan. Um, but uh, that's okay. We can uh, we can handle that. Um, let's get research going here. Now I want to uh, start in on efficiency so we can improve the speed of our imports because that right now seems like uh, the uh, the deciding factor on what's taken so long. So we are selling through our cars. That's good. We're at about eighty five thousand dollars. Now when we hit the top of the hour, that's when we have to make our loan payments. So that's when I really want to pay attention to uh, our financial situation. Still looks like we're not really getting the cars through fast enough at the door area. Uh, okay, now we're up to $99,000. So the, okay, and we dropped down to 82. So we're about breaking even. We are losing a little bit of money, but not so much that I think we need to. Okay, good. So now we're, now we're starting to get a backlog over here. So the door thing is definitely improving. And then as we improve the speed of imports, uh, that is gonna help a lot. So we will do that. Um, so another great thing that they have set up here um, compared to the old version is uh, you can uh, queue up research. So we're gonna do faster overhead conveyors, and then I'm gonna queue up faster resource imports. And uh, so now I won't have to come back in here quite as often. Don't really need to worry about that. Import priorities. I think I'm gonna want predictive stock control. I'm not really sure which which is the most beneficial. I think we're gonna go with predictive stock control and then import priorities. Now these are all new to me, so I haven't really had a chance to use them yet. But predictive stock control is something where you can actually do it as an upgrade. And it says Maybe it said it in the research screen, but basically it says it will it will start to order stuff 
They will order things at the start of a manufacturing cycle as opposed to at the end of a manufacturing cycle. So I'm not entirely sure what that means, to be honest. It still doesn't make any sense. Like if, ever, if it orders it at the end of the manufacturing cycle, that's still before the start. That's before the start of the next one. So is it ordering stuff for the next manufacturing cycle at the start of this manufacturing cycle? I guess, I guess the only time will tell, huh? We're gonna have to wait and see. Um, so uh, we do seem to be financially stable. That's fantastic. Um, victory is mine. Um, I'm, I'm real happy about that. Uh, we do need to get our cars through this area faster, but we will see if uh, speeding up our imports and stuff will help out with that. Look at that. We actually are above $100,000. Now, another thing that happens here is you have rival technologies that start researching. Um, they start researching stuff that you don't have. So that can, uh, that can be um, tricky. Okay. Uh, I'm going to reduce the price a little bit on our car here. Um, and how do I look at the uh, hmm. market? Okay, no, that's not it either. Features? No. All right, faster overhead conveyors. Great, that'll help. Um, now that's marketing. Achievements. Car designs. Ah, it is in here. Okay, so here in features, these are all the different features that you can unlock. And then over here is how frequent they are within each car and what kind of premium they offer. So once they become common, like your customers will expect them to be in your car and you won't really be able to sell your car uh, at a good price without them. So you definitely need to try to keep up with competition. So they've got windshield wipers on their way, electric windows, and sunroof. So we're going to have to start researching those things uh, before too long. But I still, right now, I mean, right now they only have those in their luxury cars. We don't have any uh, luxury cars available. We need to research that as well. Um, but we will have to. And uh, But like I said, for now, my primary focus is efficiency we're up to 163 percent so we are we're definitely increasing our efficiency and uh, uh, I think that we probably want to boost our research speed right now because we're falling pretty far behind on research um, so I'm gonna throw down a few more research offices we can oh gosh I forgot they're expensive uh, but that's okay that's okay we're, we're making a, hef, uh, a, a steady profit with our car sales They've got car alarms now. And again, these these new things are only showing up on the uh, luxury cars. So with our with our sedans, we don't really need to worry about it. But it's 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 not going to really be that long. I mean, actually, I don't know. It could take forever before it gets to the to the basic car models that need those things. But I suspect that it's going to be sooner than that at, at the rate that these things are coming up. Um, they are, uh, yeah, they seem to be coming up pretty quickly. Uh, all right, so we still have predictive stock control and import priorities. We still got both of those that we need to uh, research. And I think that would help with, with these bad boys here. Um, actually, it's almost closer if I, actually, it's not almost, it definitely is closer if I were to set up a, import thing over here for the door thing itself so oh sixty six thousand dollars to buy the import uh, conveyor um, so that would leave me with about fifty thousand and then we have what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten thirteen fourteen fifteen so about twenty squares so I've got fifty thousand and then twenty squares at 1800 so that's about 40,000 so 90,000 looks like we can afford it all right so let's do a resource importer right there and then resource conveyor if we go like that all right okay we've still got $28,000 left which we should be able to 
survive on and and now these resources should get here faster because they should be coming from up here instead of from down there so uh, that should also increase the efficiency uh, still this is our bottleneck for sure um, and I might actually want to research the thing that will allow me to break down fitting doors uh, although that would be very expensive to uh, to set up all the individual sub components of fitting doors uh, will it allow me to look and see how much that's going to cost? Um, I can't even open it up because I don't have enough money. That's odd. Oh, I can. Fit doors. There we go. So it's going to cost me 20, 40, 60,000 to, uh, and so 120,000 to, to double those up. Uh, although, would I need to double them up, really? Two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. So, you know what? I could break that down and just have those three things. So, it cost me about $120,000. And I would get some money back for selling these as well. So, I probably want to save up to about $200,000, which I should be able to do by the time we actually research that. We're up to $75,000. So, I think this was a good investment. You can see that... Um, um, uh, we're starting to get a little bit of a backlog up here at the painting area. So I might want to put in another dry undercoat. Uh, how much is that going to cost me? $16,000. I can afford it. Um, we'll put that here. Yes. There. Doesn't really matter, does it? And we need to set some conveyors up to connect over to there. Like that. $31,000 remaining. Connect you there. Very good. Okay. Now we can get cars through there a little faster. Probably somewhere that... Yep. So we're starting to backlog. I knew this fit wheel assembly was going to be a backlog. Um, is that accessories? Engine for some reason? Fit wheel assembly. $40,000. Alright. So we need to, uh, need to save up some money to get that through. But that's good. We're off to a good start. I'm feeling good about it, and uh, yeah, we're 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 marginally profitable. We do still have the potential to take out another two hundred thousand dollar loan if things go uh, banana shaped. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're going to be able to pull this off. Um, all I yep. See there we go. Sixty thousand dollars. Good. We're still selling these cars. As a matter of fact, I'm going to push that markup back up to 40%. Um, okay, so now it's going to cost me money to do all these upgrades. I like this, that you can upgrade all slots. Like, we can't afford to do it, but in theory, I could. So that's pretty nice. Uh, we still have... The, whatever that is, in part priorities coming up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upgrade these guys to predictive stock control and we'll see if that speeds them up just a little better uh, whoops I clicked outside the window there real quick um, upgrade predictive stock control very good uh, this thing is huge boy oh boy it used to be such a pain in the butt to go through and upgrade these things so much better that it does that now we'll see if that predictive stock control makes any difference on uh, getting these cars through a little faster we still have a lot of insufficient resources um, more technologies are being researched by our competitors. That's um, frustrating. Uh, looks like we're starting to get a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a choke point here. So um, that's good. That means that we've got the doors running efficiently. So maybe I don't need to worry as much about improving that door speed. We're going to need to put in a new dry finish, and then we're going to need to double up on this wheel assembly thing. But we are off to a good start. All right, guys, I hope you are enjoying this. I'm, I hope uh, longtime viewers, you're glad to see this again. Uh, new people, or not new people, people who've joined in the last 2,200 or 2,500 subscribers. Uh, you know, if this is the first time you've seen this game, I hope you're enjoying it. Why don't you guys leave me a comment in the comment section below. I always want to hear what you guys have to think. I really appreciate hearing from you guys. Click that like button too. That's nice of you to do. Oh boy, look at that money dropping. What is? Why are we losing money so quickly all of a sudden? Uh, it's probably because I raised the raised the price on our cars and they're not selling as fast. Oh boy. Um, 
Wow, we're leaving on a bit of a cliffhanger, huh? All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!